show your faces now! We picked the wrong hiding place. Harden and James escaped! Back near truck, we'll get Harden and James with a little help from the Dream Team. <laughs> so, John Wesley Harden and Jesse James are hiding out together in the train yard. Harden, James, show your faces now. We picked the wrong hiding place. Harden and James escaped. Back near truck, we'll get Harden and James. <laughs> so, John. An engineer! This man's a hero! He discovered James and Harden hiding out in one of the trains. Know what he did? He locked them in there! <laughs> the train car we're looking for is northwest of the well. We picked the wrong hiding place. Harden and James escaped. Back near truck, we'll get Harden and James with a little help from the Dream Team. <laughs> <laughs> An engineer! This man's a hero! He discovered James and Harden hiding out in one of the trains. Know what he did? He locked them in there! <laughs> this man's a hero! He discovered James and Harden hiding out in one of the trains. Know what he did? He locked them in there! <laughs> the train car we're looking for is southeast of the well. You be I'll sniff him. Harden, James, show your faces now. We picked the wrong hiding place. Harden and James escaped. Back near Trucky, we'll get Harden and James with a little help from the Dream Team. <laughs> so, John Wesley Harden and J Drats, the door's locked. I'll need to find the combination. Where's that engineer? didn't he say so in the first place? The combination is A, B, and then an odd number.
So, John Wesley Harden and Jesse James are hiding out together in the train yard. Your mission? Catch Harden and James before they do... We're almost there. The mastermind hides his tracks well, but everyone we're looking for... Let's leave the engineering to Jack and the interrogating to me, shall we? Whenever you capture an outlaw, don't... Hasta la vista. Nice going. Building. Good. Start building from Elko, Nevada and build all the way to Promontory, Utah, the end of the line. That's 240 miles away. Let's see how much money we have. $3,840,000. Not bad at all. Let's get building. Elko to Promontory. You show me a place that gets less than 10 inches of rain a year, and I'll show you a desert. Not all deserts are hot, you know. Cold deserts, which are so icy that they never get any rain. You can see some f desert regions receive <laughs> dry lake bed. This dry lake has some rushes growing at its rushes are tall grass-like plants that often <laughs> the Shoshone in this area may be willing to let your railroad. The U.S. dealt with the Shoshone people by dividing them into five groups. They signed. <laughs> you meet a Shoshone scout who knows no English. Do you want to hire him? He can. Here's a bit of sign language to help you out. Here's a bit of sign language to help. Here's a bit of sign language to help you out. The Shoshone hunt and gather in the summer and camp out by water holes during the dry winters. In the spring and fall, the family groups get together for religious. You signed to the guy that you wanted to hire him as a scout. What? Here are some Shoshone words I've learned. Hope they help. I learned that Doesn't matter where you are, a little Ohapui will get you a long way. Good decision. The Shoshone accepts your money and agrees to be your guide. Dry lake bed. A flash flood in this dry lake wipes out a month's work. Pilot Peak. Pilot Peak is the last place to stock up on water for 90 miles. You need 800 gallons of water per mile. How much does that come out to anyway? Dream Team? Now let's see. Not Good choice. You brought just enough water for your men. Warning. There are no lakes or streams ahead, so plan carefully. You'll need water. I've scouted from here to the Great Salt Lake, and I saw three Beautiful little oases that we can hit along the way. We'll be fine. I'm telling you, the only water in these parts is what you see on the map. Track laying in the desert is good as... I saw a place out there where the water was just shimmering in the sand. I say we head there. I'll show you. Watch now. Here's the place where Wild Bill has seen water. Your Shoshone guide points to the camp and draws arrows going in opposite directions. What are you going to do? The Shoshone also makes the sign for fast fire, which means train. Here are some pictograms I've seen the tribes use. Some of them are thousands of years old. Here are some pictograms I've seen the tribes use. 
The Shoshone sign meant war, not friends. Nice going! Building! Good! Start building from Elko, Nevada. Elko to Promenade. You meet a Shoshone scout who knows you sign good to Dry Lake. Pilot Peak. Good choice. These high mountains may have curling's tough, but it's the only way through here. Warning, there are no lakes or Watch now, here's the place where Wild Bill has seen water. Terrace. Terrace is the biggest little city between here and Promontory. You stock up on water and save a hundred thousand. Mirage. There is no water here. It was only a mirage. High winds across the salt flats destroy your worker camps. High winds across. Building across this part of the salt flats turns out to be easy because there are no hills. You make record time. Another suspect has been spotted back near Wadsworth. We need to question him, and we're done. <laughs> Geronimo is somewhere in this Native American village. He says go west. Go east. He says, go west. He says, go west. Go north. He's south of here. Go north! He says Geronimo's not in here! Out! Geronimo! Come out of there! <laughs> he ran to another teepee! Let's find him! He says go west! Go east! Go north! He's south of here! He's south of here! Go north! He's south of here! He says go west! Go east! I'll sniff him out. He's south of here. Geronimo is somewhere in this Native American village. Your mission is to find him and bring him in for quest. Go north! He's south of here! 
Go north! He says Geronimo! I'll sniff him out! He, he says Geronimo's in here! Outlaw! Geronimo! Come out of there! All right, Geronimo! You may be innocent, but we're taking you in! Ah, oh, I think I just sprained my brain. Let me at him. I can ask questions that are polite, tough as nails, or totally loco. Which tough as nails? Okay, kid, spill the beans. Who's your boss? Don't mention food, unless you're prepared to serve me some vittles. I'll tell you this. He's a politician! We just got ourselves our first clue. Now comes the interesting part. On the cell door is the galvanic skin response steam-powered truth meter. It measures the amount of sweat on the outlaw's dirty palms. It'll gauge whether or not our outlaw friend is telling the truth, lying, or dodgy, which is somewhere in between. <laughs> dodgy. I'll put that in the journal anyway. One of these men is the mastermind who stole the Golden Spike and hired the outlaws to sabotage our railroad. Every time we get a clue, I'll record it here in the Train of Thought journal. Click on a mastermind. Welcome back. Where? Tough as nails. You better tell me where your boss lives or they'll call you Billy the Grandpa by the time you leave here. Okay, okay. He might be a New Yorker, but I'm not sure. Dodgy. I'll put that in the journal anyway. What? Let's be tough as nails and see if that works. Billy, you rascally robber. Tell me what your boss looks like, or I'll give you what for! I don't need no what for! I don't even know what a what for is for! But I'll tell you this, he has himself a mustache! Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. One of these men is the mastermind who's- I'm fired up! How? A question that's tough as nails. Tell me how your boss earns his living, Billy the Baby. Or you'll be living in that cell for a very, very long time. Ah, forget your threats. I'll just tell you that he earns his money in the South. A dodgy clue. Useless. Who? Let's catch him off guard with a loco question. Who plows snow in duck feathers? He makes things. And I don't mean bizarre comments like yours. What's with these ducks? Where? A dodgy clue. Useless. Loco question. It'll drive him nuts. Where does the armadillo sleep? I do declare you're a whack job. Drats. Not a clue. Where? Polite. Let's not argue, Belle. Just tell me where your boss lives. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. I know you're just being nice until I tell you what you want to know. Dang, we need a clue. Where? Tough as nails. Now, no more nonsense. Where does your boss live? Let's have some answers. Pronto. Pronto? A river flows nearby his home, but the river's name's not very pronto. It's the M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -I -S -S -I -I. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. How? Let's catch him off guard with a loco question. How does the mastermind make money? Sunny. Sunny is not a word I'd use to describe myself. But I can tell you this. He's involved in transportation. It's true. 
I'll put it in the journal. One of these men is the mastermind who stole the golden spike and hired the outlaws to- I'm fired up! One of these men is the mastermind who stole the golden spike and hired the outlaws to sabotage our railroad. Every time we get a clue, I'll record it here in the Train of Thought journal. Click on a mastermind to look at the clues. I'll list the clues we get for each question word. Click on the question words to compare the clues to the information. Let me at them. The suspect. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Compare the clues on this list to the who information on this master. Compare them to the what information. You may not need all the clues to tell whether or not this is the mastermind. Compare the where clues to the where information. Check the box if the clues apply. Outlaw interrogation. What? Tough as nails. Unless you tell me what your boss looks like, I'm going to tell the other outlaws what your real name is, Miss Myra Bell Shirley. Ha! That doesn't scare me. I don't care what people call me. Dang, we need a clue. What? Loco question. It'll drive them nuts. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody is around to hear it, what color are snowflakes? You trying to trick me, little one? I'll tell you this. He looks rich, and I like that in a mastermind. Not true. I'll record it in the journal. The Suspects Cornelius Vanderbilt what clues? What clues? Steam-powered interrogator all fired up. Where? Polite. Come on, John. This could be so easy. Would you please tell me where your boss lives? Not for all the gold in California. And quit being so nice. Drats. Not a clue. Who? Let's be tough as nails and see if that works. Answer my question, Harden, and answer it now. Who's your boss? If you want to see me sweat, come to one of my boss's birthday parties. It's always hot that time of year. Where? Not true. All tough as nails. I hope you like your nice cold cell, John Wesley Harden. You're going to grow old in there if you don't tell me where your boss lives. Three words. Kentucky. Now, let me out. Dodgy. I'll put that in the journal anyway. Cow. Tough as nails. Explain how your boss makes a living or it will be more bread and water for a week. Shows how much you know. I like bread and water. Dang, we need a clue. Cow. Let's catch him off guard with a loco question. How mean are you anyway, Harden? I'm meaner than a military man like my boss. And that's mighty mean. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. What? Loco question. It'll drive them nuts. What does an outlaw owl say? What? What? No. Who? Who? This is the weirdest interrogation I've ever been through. Dang, we need a clue. What? Let's be tough as nails and see if that works. Pay attention, Harden. What does your boss look like? I'll tell you this, and then I'm shutting up. He's got more whiskers on his face than a wildcat. A dodgy clue. Useless. Who? Who? Let's see if being polite works. I've heard that the Apaches are an honest people. So honestly, who's trying to destroy the railroad? I have heard him described as the youngest branch on his family tree. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. Where?
Let's see if being polite works. Mr. Geronimo, let's make this easy on ourselves. Where does the Mastermind live? There is nothing easier than the truth. He lives nowhere near the sea. At least that is what Bell Star told me. False. <laughs> what a useful liar. I'll mark it in the journal. Where? How? Let's see if being polite works. Mr. Geronimo, I'd be grateful if you'd tell me how the Mastermind makes a living. Like others from the East, it's gold he seeks. Or so I have heard. What? A pol Let's keep things simple. What does the Mastermind look like? Simply put, he is either large or small. It all depends on your perspective. It's true. I'll put it in the journal. Who? Let's be tough as nails and see if that works. All right, Jesse James. Tell me who your boss is or I'll make sure you regret it. I am a gentleman, miss. And I don't appreciate your using that tone of voice. Dang, we need a clue. Who? Let's see if being polite works. Mr. James, would you kindly tell me who your boss is? Certainly. His birthday party was in a cold month. Cold as my blood. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. Where? Let's see if being polite works. Mr. James, you can tell me where the mastermind lives. Now can't you? Well, it's only reasonable for me to tell you that he doesn't live near the coast. False, huh? I'll make a record of it. What? A polite question, huh? You seem like a reasonable person, Jesse. Please tell me what your boss looks like. Well, it's only reasonable for me to tell you that he doesn't look rich. Not true. I'll record it in the journal. How? Polite. Interested in better grub, Mr. James? I can make that happen. Now, tell me. How does your boss earn a living? Better grub? I'll go for that. My boss makes things. Don't ask me what. It's true. I'll put it in the journal. How? I wonder who did it. Jefferson Davis. So which one's the mastermind? Cornelius Vanderbilt. What clues? I wonder who did it. Grenville Dodge. What clues? I wonder who Oaks ain't. What clues? So which one? Welcome back. I got no food, I got no bed, I got an empty stomach and it's gone to my head. <laughs> Look who's talking now. Turn it off! Turn it off! The helium is making me cough! <coughs> oh, who? A polite question, huh? Mr. Bart, please be kind and tell me who's the mastermind. Kind I am and kind I be. His name sounds like a verb to me. True. I'll mark it in the journal. Where? A polite question, huh? Tell me where your boss does dwell, so I can free you from this cell. Wouldn't that be swell? Even though that ditty is not very pretty, I'll tell you that he lived in a capital city. How? Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. Polite. Do tell me, Mr. Bart, just how does your leader keep money in his feeder?
Much to my enjoyment, I know of his employment. In many a business he does toil, but to the railroad he remains most loyal. A true clue. Polite. Black Bart, I'm your biggest fan. What does your boss look like? What kind of a man? You're a fan? I just don't care. All I know, he has dark hair. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. I'm so scared I can't rhyme. I've got goose pimples on my goose pimples. Not. I beg to differ, lady dear, but I'm not the man you want in here. There they sit. It's like a flea incubator. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Who clues? There they sit. It's like a flea incubator. Grenville Dodge. Who clues? Guilty. He's not the mastermind. You better guess again. Don't the suspect, Cornelia. Guilty. He's not the mass. So, which one is it? Oak. Guilty. You did it. Oak's Ames is the mastermind. Mastermind, surrender that golden spike. The golden spike mystery is solved. We got him. The golden spike. Victory is ours. Jack, we did it. All ready now. It's time to drive the final spike. The telegraph signal sent round the world will be three dots for the commencement of the blows. One, two, three. The golden spike ceremony. The country is united. We're right on track for future glory. We need to decide. Do you want to start a new railroad or do you want Time to join the team. You can start building from scratch. <laughs>